All right, you guys, uh, this is a pretty easy lesson. It's called permutations. So uh, you need a calculator for this lesson and this whole chapter here. So uh, there's six ways to arrange the letters X, Y, and Z. So show those. So there's six ways. So there they are. So X, Y, Z. And then uh, there's two ways to start it with X. And then so it would be X, Z, Y. There's two ways to start it with Y. So Y, X, Z, and Y, Z, X. And then the two ways to start it with Z, Z, X, Y, and Z, Y, X. Okay. So we're interested in the number of ways we can do that. So uh, here an ordering of n objects, up here it was three objects, is called a permutation. And the number of arrangements of n objects is found by, uh, there's a new feature, it's called n with an explanation point that is read n factorial. And so uh, you start at n, then you do one less than that, and then one less than that, all the way down to three times two times one. So you, and then you multiply all those. So you can see you get a big number real fast when you're doing that. So above there was three letters, so it was three factorial, so three times two times one is six different ways. Okay, so here a TV station has eight new stories uh, to present. So how many different ways can these eight stories run? Okay, so this is just eight factorial. So that would be eight times seven times six times five, four, three, two, one, which is 40,320 different ways. Okay, that's a lot of ways. So what if only three of the stories can be used? How many different ways? Okay, so if three of the stories can be used only, then there's my three stories right there. So, um, and then so for this one, I have eight to choose from. So once I get eight in there, then I only have seven to choose from from the next one, and then six to choose from from the next one after that. And then so that, there's my three stories that I ran right there. And then you're going to go ahead and multiply all those. So uh, you get 336 different ways. Okay, so this is called a permutation, you guys. So a permutation of n objects. Here we had eight objects above, taken r at a time. So we only took three of them at a time above. Uh, is uh, And it's called uh, NPR for permutations. It equals n factorial, and then you subtract the two numbers factorial on the bottom. So here above it would be um, 8p3. So 8 factorial over 8 minus 3 factorial, which is... 8 factorial over 5 factorial, and if you wrote all those out, and then here's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, it's going to cancel out the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 downstairs, and so you get 336 ways. Okay, you get the same way above right there. Okay, now when I'm seeing that, you guys, and I don't have, there is a, a program on most calculators, it's a NPR program on your calculator, it should be right around uh, NCR, so it's either right above it or right to the left of it or something. On my calculators at school, it's right above it right above the NCR, and the NCR is the next lesson on combinations. Okay, so um, uh, 8 factorial over 5 factorial, I just do 8, 7, 6, and I stop at 5 factorial because you can write them out if you want, like I did above right there, but there's 5 factorial on top and on bottom. They just cancel each other out right there, so 8 times 7 times 6. Okay, all right, so how many different ways can four prizes be given to 50 people if they can each receive at most one prize? Okay, so this is just 50 P4, so um, when you plug that in your calculator, uh, you get uh, uh, 5,527,200 different ways. Okay, so 50 P4, if you don't have that feature in your calculator, no biggie. Uh, when I used to teach this lesson, we didn't have, uh, uh, my class set of calculators didn't have that program on there, so we use these little cheap old calculators. So we do it this purple way right here. I think that's purple. So 50 factorial over 50 minus 4 is 46 factorial. So I just do uh, 50 times 49 times 48 times 47. And then 46 factorials cancel each other out. And that should get you that big old fat number up on top up there. Okay. So permutations with repeats, you guys. So the number of permutations of n objects uh, where one object is, this, is repeating x sub 1 times. Another object is repeating x sub 2 times and so on is you just do n factorial and then the repeating, the number of repeaters. So say I had like um, two p's repeating and I had three e's repeating and I had, this is usually with letters you guys, but it doesn't have to be. It could be with colors or, or gender or whatever right here. So here's an example. So find the number of distinguishable, disting, that's a hard word, distinguishable permutations of the letters in each. Okay, so soccer and Tallahassee. Okay, so on this one, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 6 factorial. And because I have two C's repeating, it's going to be on the bottom 2 factorial here. Okay, over here, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 factorial over, looks like I see uh, 3a, so there'll be a 3 factorial. I see 2l, so a 2 factorial. These are on the bottom. I see a 2s, so another 2 factorial, and the 2e's, another 2 factorial, okay? So um, uh, here's this one, 6 factorial over 2 factorial, uh, 360 ways. And then this one here is 11 factorial over those repeating letters right there, okay? So you get 831,600 different ways. I think I have an extra space in there. I'm going to take that out. I'm sure I do, right there. I do. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, let's see. So, uh, how many different license plates are possible if uh, the digits and letters can be repeated, and that's A, and B, if the digits and letters can't be repeated, uh, with three letters followed by four digits. Okay, so, so I got two different scenarios, you guys. So, there's my three letters followed by four digits right there. So, I'm doing the letters in, in blue and the digits in red. So here, A says they can be repeated. So there's 26 letters in the alphabet. So 26 times 26 times 26. I'll go right here. And there's 10 digits. 0 through 9 is 10 digits. So this would be 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay? Here, when they don't repeat, it's going to be 26. And then I can't repeat that letter. So there'd be 25 left. And then I can't repeat that letter. So then 24. And then this would be 10, 9, 8, 7. Because I cannot repeat them. Okay? So there's that one. I get that big old fat number, 175,760,000. Okay, and then this one here is going to be 26, 25, 24, because I can't repeat them, you guys, and then 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, and then that uh, product comes out to 78,624,000. All right, if you are in my class, I would assign that as your homework.